up y'all it's your girl the urban lock queen and um once again i did not record any videos for this week and i'm so sorry for that um but my co-worker challenged me to a little cook off we're gonna be making enchiladas it is now what time is it it's 11 p.m um, because I forgot that he wanted to make them tomorrow, so I'm just going to be making enchiladas and I'm going to let you guys see how I make them. First thing I want to show you guys is all of my ingredients. I used the uh, Mexican blend cheese, just the Mexico brand. Um, I used the Las Palmas green chili enchilada sauce. Um, I've never tried white corn tortillas before, but it said super soft and they look like they would be cool. So I'm trying these today and then I get the boneless, skinless chicken breast fillets because they're easy to cut and they cook pretty quickly. So First thing you want to do is prepare your chicken. Of course, we washed our hands. And what you want to do is get the chicken. I like to rinse it off just to make sure that it's all clean and everything is staying. And then we put it on the cutting board. And I like to cut it into pieces, like little chicken strips, just like this, just like this. And you want to do that to every filet that you have. I do uh, pull off this excess fat that's on the chicken. Try to pull off as much as I can. So now what we have here is a half of a uh, Vidalia onion. garlic cloves and we're just going to cut those up too and throw those in the water as well. Actually we're just going to smash these. I like to smash the garlic cloves because it brings out the garlic flavor a little more. Garlic 
garlic and onion are always good to season chicken with. These are the seasonings that I use to season my water that I'm going to be cooking my chicken in while well, boiling it. So I This may look like a lot of seasoning, but you got to remember you're just boiling the chicken in this. So you want these seasonings to infuse with the chicken so that when you make your enchiladas, your chicken is already seasoned inside the enchiladas. Cover it and let it cook. I'll put it like on about a seven. Mm, that looks so good, right? I'm so tired. Like Today was actually supposed to be my day off, but um, they were shorthanded at work, so they asked me to come in. And um, I guess I just went in to make a little extra money. And um, usually making these enchiladas would not have been a problem because I would have been off um, all day to prepare to make them, but I had to work today. And then um, I just recently started like working out and stuff and trying to, you know, lead a healthier lifestyle. So uh, when I get off work, I get off work at like 6 p.m. And then by the time I go pick the girls up and then get home, it's already like almost seven. So when I get home, I just, um, you know, make sure that they eat and all that stuff. And then I get myself ready for the gym. I go to the gym and I spend about like an hour there. So. By the time I get back from the gym, it's like 8.30 or something like that. So I take a shower, make myself something like, you know, light to eat, like a salad or some fish um, or eggs or something like that. And then um, it's like time to go to bed because I have to get up at like 6 a.m. to get my daughter ready for school. But <laughs> I'm just tired, y'all. But I'm up. I'm making these enchiladas because my coworker challenged me and he's not gonna win. It's been about 20 minutes and it looks like our chicken is done. So I'm just gonna take this out, take the chicken out and put it in this bowl right here. So now that all of our chicken is nice and cooked and seasoned, usually I would um, shred the chicken by hand, but for the sake of time, since it is now almost one o'clock in the morning, I'm going to use the blender and I'm going to use the shred um, setting. Hopefully I'm not too loud so I don't wake up the girls. Let's see. <laughs> So I went ahead and shredded all of the chicken. I guess you could say this is grated, but the way that I make my enchiladas, I make enchilada casserole. So um, it's not the rolled ones I don't take all the time to roll each tortilla with the chicken and cheese and all that. I just layer everything up and it comes out real good. 
so this is the grated or shredded whatever you want to call it chicken and now I'm about to um, show you guys how I layer up my enchilada casserole all right let me show you guys my little setup here so um, here I have the green enchilada sauce in a bowl and I'm gonna show you why I have that in a bowl I have my tortillas here I have my chicken here and then I have another like another can of of the enchilada sauce and of course main ingredients my cheese but the way that I do um, my enchiladas I'll get a corn tortilla and then I'll dip it in the enchilada sauce and lay it down in here for my foundation and I'll just keep doing that until A layer of chicken, layer of chicken, make sure you spread the chicken out all over so that in every bite you get some chicken. A layer of cheese. And then with that extra sauce, you're just gonna pour so that it's not dry. And then you're just going to repeat that process and keep layering. So I'll come back when I'm done and show you guys. So you guessed it. I'm at the store because I ran out of tortillas and cheese. Oh my god, I would never come to this store this late ever again. <laughs> there was like some line leader lady. So first of all, there's two checkers and there's one line. So I see that one line is shorter than the other one. So I go to the shorter one. And this lady is like, excuse me, are you with somebody in the front? And I'm like, no, I just got in line. And she's like, oh, well there's so many people waiting and you're being disrespectful to the people that were already waiting and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but there's two checkers, so which line are you guys waiting in? And she's like, well, it's fine. If you wanna be disrespectful and cut it everybody, blah, 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 do what you gotta do. I said, okay. <laughs> like, lady, please, it's one o'clock in the morning. Why are you trying to be a line leader, police, whatever? Like, just get your groceries and be quiet. Anyways, I'm on my way home to fix to finish these enchiladas and then I'm taking my behind the bed. Alright y'all, so this is the almost finished enchilada casserole. It is completely ready for the oven to bake. But yeah, I'm gonna take my behind to bed because I'm super tired. But I had to make these enchiladas and I proved to my co-worker that I cook better than him. Period. So I'll see you guys in the morning um, when we put these bad boys in the ovens. Good morning. It's our vlog queen and it's the next morning. And um, so yeah, 
I'm get, I'm ready for work now. I'm about to uh, head out, but I just wanted to show you guys the uh, finished uh, into our casserole. Usually I put it on broil for a little bit just to make the top crispy, but I didn't do that this time just for time's sake because it's time to go. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want um, the recipe for this, even though I showed you guys pretty much how to make it, then just let me know and I will definitely post the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Go ahead and like this video, comment, share, and if you've ever tried to make um, enchilada casserole, then let me know how you make it in the comments.